This is Michael Cheek with Mike'sGuitarLessons.com. This is a hired request, and I'm going to be teaching you Love by John Lennon. This is actually the acoustic version that's kind of just a off-the-cuff um, recording that um, he did. So it's not the best recording, but it's actually a really good example of the song. Um, sounds real nice on acoustic guitar. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Just a real quick... Um, plug if you uh, want to see the rest of the videos for this song you can go to www.mikesguitarlessons.com um, you can also find me on Facebook just uh, search Mike's Guitar Lessons um, and you can also find my blog at webguitarlesson.com and uh, I'm on Twitter at uh, Mike's Guitar so let's go ahead and get, go ahead and get started um, let's go ahead and start with the chords that we're going to need in this first verse here okay We'll begin with that. Um, we've got a D chord. I'm gonna, not going to go in depth um, a lot with the, all of these chords because you probably know them already. But um, we're going to start off with the D chord. Okay. We're also going to need an F sharp minor. Now we're, I'm going to be using a full bar chord here because we're going to need all our strings. So you're barring in the second fret all the way across, and then your third finger is going on the fourth fret of the A string, and your pinky is going on the fourth fret of the D string. And then you're barring everything else with your first finger. Okay. Now we're also going to need a C sharp seven here. Now this may be a, a, a chord you're not familiar with. So it's not too hard though because it's a small change from this F sharp minor. You're just going to take your pinky and move it down one string. So now it's on the fourth fret of the G string. And then put your middle finger on the third fret of the D string. That gives you that C sharp seven. Okay, now um, what you're going to do after that, uh, let me see, well actually we've got an F sharp minor after that, um, oh we need a D7, I'm just looking at my, my tabs here I laid out, D7, second fret on the E, first fret on the B, second fret on the G string, okay, there's your D7, there's a G chord, you probably recognize a G chord, we won't go into that in great detail because you probably know that one already. Um, A7, just like an A chord, but you're going to leave that G string open. Okay? Just That's how it's different. A lot of you might play your A's like that, so you lift your middle finger. If you play it like me, you're be, you'll be lifting your first finger, but make sure you leave that G string open. Okay? And that... Oh, we're missing one more. E minor 7. For the E minor 7, you're going to put your second finger middle finger on the second fret of the A string, and that's it. That's E minor 7. Okay, now let's go ahead and get started. That, that actually took a little longer than I wanted to on the chords. Um, the basic way you're going to play this song is for each chord, you're going to have one bass note with your thumb. This is uh, a finger-picking song, so you're going to have one bass note with your thumb. Then you're going to pluck the, uh, most of the time it's going to be the E string, B string, and G string, with your first, second, and third fingers, okay? So for example, we're gonna start off the song with a D chord, and what you're gonna do first is play open on the D string, and then you're gonna play these three fingers, these three strings, three times in a row. Just like that. All right, one more time, it's just D string, and then the rest of the chord, one, two, three. Now the actual pattern goes like this, you, you do what I just did, and then you're going to switch your bass note to the A string, play that open, and then pluck your three strings again. Okay? So you start off the song just like that. Now at the beginning of the song, the, that's kind of a, the intro D chord, or throwaway D chord. Um, that doesn't get repeated throughout the rest of the song. So you're just kind of getting getting it going there with that first D chord. Okay, then you're going to play that D chord again to actually start the song. Okay, then we're going to go to the F sharp minor. Okay, I already showed you that. You're going to play, do the same thing here, but we're going to start with our bass note on the A string. Okay, so here we go. And then we're going to play that again, but now our bass note changes to the E string. But our 
other notes are still on the uh, highest three strings, skinniest three strings. Um, that's always going to be the case unless I tell you otherwise, okay? So, so far in the song, we've got the throwaway D, or the intro D. Then we're actually starting. Then F sharp minor. Okay, now we're going to go to that C sharp 7, okay? So you know how to play that one. Now this one is going to be um, a little weird, but it's not too complicated. You're going to use the A string for your bass note, but you're going to also shift down to the B string, G string, and D string with your three fingers here, okay? So it's going to be bass note on the A, and then one, two, three, okay, so... Now for your second bass note, take your third finger, pick it up, and move it over to the fourth fret of the uh, thick E string. That's going to be your bass note now, so move your thumb up there. Okay, so that's what you do on the C sharp 7. Okay, then after the C sharp 7, we're going to go back to the F sharp minor, so reset for that F sharp minor. And we're going to go A for our bass note. And we're keeping our fingers on these, on these three strings, B, G, and D. Okay, still on the thicker strings there. Okay, so uh, A bass note. One, two, three. Now switch it to the E for your bass note. Okay, that's kind of the first line, first uh, four chords of the song. So let me play it for you again. And uh, remember, I'm including one extra D chord here. Anytime you come back to the verse again, that extra D chord won't be there, just to uh, let you know. Okay, so we're starting with the intro D. Now we're starting the song. Now F sharp minor. Now um, C sharp 7, I'm going to get that right in my mind. And then F sharp minor again. Okay, now after that, we're going to go to the D7. Bass note's going to be on the D string. And then it's going to be on the A string. Then G chord, bass note on the thick E string. Then move the bass note to the A string. And you, you noticed when I, after that F sharp minor, I moved back to the skinnier strings starting with that D7, so D7, G, they both have the higher strings. And now we're gonna go to an A7. Both of these bass notes are on the A string, so. Back to the D chord, bass note on the D. Now on the A. Back to an F sharp minor. Uh, bass note this time is starting on the E string. Now it moves to the A string. Minor seven, or that's just one finger. Bass note on the thick E string, and now it goes to the A string. Now to the A seven again. Bass note both times on the A string, and then to the D chord. Uh, bass note on the D string, and now bass note moves to the A string. So that was one time through that first verse there, okay? So you would play what I just played one more time through, except for that intro D, and that would get you that far through the song, through, through two verses, okay? Let me play just through that one time so you can actually hear it all the way through. At the end of this whole lesson, I'll actually play along with the song, and, that, and you can actually hear it. But here's what it sounds like, um, including that first D chord. I'm only, I'm only going to go through the verse one time, though. So here we go. I'll call out the chords too, hopefully. I can keep this all straight in my head and not mess up. So here we go. D chord intro starting out. Now we're actually starting with the first D. F sharp minor. Moving to that C sharp seven. Back to the F sharp uh, minor. Now on the D seven, we're moving back to the higher strings. Sorry, I said G, A, but I meant A bass note. I, I, 
how much is, I have that written here. So G chord, now A7, D. play all that one more time before we get to the next part of the song before our chord progression changes so I apologize not for doing perfect there but I'm not real worried about it because at the end of this whole series I'm gonna play all the way through the song so you can see it in one good shot so I'm not real worried about it right now um, anyways if you have any question questions you can email me at feedback at mikesguitarlessons.com and um, guys good luck I hope you enjoy it it's 